For daily hacks of the human body, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Then tap the bell icon to be notified on our newest videos. What will humans look like in 1,000 years? Ever given thought to how humans will look in 1,000 years? First off, humans have been evolving from time immemorial. Essentially, the height of today's humans is quite different than 130 years ago. How? Well, back in 1880, the average male was 5 foot 7, but today's average height is 5 foot 10. That we will be taller in the coming years, probably after 100 years or more. Besides the increase in height, the humans of the future may become one with machines that can improve our eyesight, hearing, and even our overall health. At the moment, we already have hearing aids that make it possible for you to record sounds and generate white noise. What's more, these devices usually come with a built-in phone. Rapid advancement in technology is already here. What's more, the development of bionic eyes is yet another solid proof of what the future holds for us. It's a technology that promises to help the visually impaired or blind to see. Well, at this point, we can't be so sure that this technology will enable us to see what has been considered invisible for years, such as x-rays and infrared. What about our genes? Well, it's good to point out that the evolution will go beyond our physical appearance. There's a good chance that our genes will also evolve on microscopic levels to aid our survival. A perfect example of this gene evolution is the discovery of a group of HIV-infected children in South Africa living healthy lives. This particular study was carried out by Oxford. Essentially, these children may have a built-in defense that prevents the HIV from advancing to AIDS. What's more, the rise of gene editing tools like CRISPR, TALIN, ZFN increase our chances of being able to control our genes and DNA up to the point where we can counter the aging process and even make ourselves immune to disease. The journey to Mars. You might not believe this, but a move to Mars is yet another way to jumpstart the human evolution. How? Well, it's only because Mars is different from the Earth in more ways than one. For starters, Mars receives 66% less sunlight than the Earth, and its gravitational pull is just 38% of the Earth. Humans on Mars will evolve larger pupils that can absorb more light to see properly, and there's a good chance that people born on Mars may turn out to be taller than anyone on Earth. According to aerospace engineer Robert Zubrin, the low gravitational pull in Mars could cause the human spine to elongate and eventually add a few inches to our height. What about immortality? Let's face it, it's going to take a whole lot of work to spark the biggest change in human evolution. A move to Mars is unlikely to make a dent in this regard. There's a good chance that the path to immortality will require humans to transfer their consciousness to a machine. And as we know, we're still an incredibly long way from full, live head transplants. It's, however, important to note that scientists have started to take steps in the direction of head transplants. As late as last year, Italian professor Sergio Canavero claimed that the world's first human head transplant had been carried out on a corpse in China. And the procedure was carried out by Dr. Xiaoping Ren and his team at Harbin Medical University. If you liked the video, give it thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more interesting facts on the human body, subscribe to the channel.